Welcome back everybody. It's Tammy with Fufu Food Studio and I am back to work in my on my little tin and my little tiny journal. There is a video for um how I got started on this and this is the second part. And what we're going to do today is work on the little journal that's inside. Um in the first video, I finished the outside, and I um, began constructing the little journal that um, is going to go on the inside. Um, since then, I have finished the inside, and I just put dictionary page in the bottom and behind this photo, and then this is a Tim Holtz photo that I just kind of um, distressed up and put a piece of tape on it and just to kind of make it look older and then this is how i ended up decorating the little journal um it is just a little single signature journal that has various sheets of paper in it i sewed it in um with a hidden spine so there is no stitching on the outside and then i just grinched it up and it's covered in fabric ticking and um it has dictionary page on the inside of the front cover and the back cover actually no it doesn't it has old book page from a midsummer night's dream by shakespeare is what it has on the front and the back there's some dictionary page inside there's some notebook paper um there's some blank staff paper for writing music on um just kind of random pieces on the inside and so that's what we're going to work on today decorating um now we won't be able to do a lot of things that are very bulky because i want it to still be able to fit down in the tin and so it can't be like this because obviously then the tin won't shut so we're going to work on some pretty flat collaging on the inside of some of these pages just to kind of um, spruce them up a little bit without causing a lot of bulk. There are some places that I went through and used uh, my old tape that I made just to kind of look like it had been mended. And as you can see, it's been um, coffee dyed and sprayed with... Um, I think this was frayed burlap and then dried to give it, you know, a really old grungy. There's one that I mended, ripped and mended the page back with some of my tape. And this is the tape I'm referring to. And there is a video on this, but basically it's just packing tape that I put alcohol ink on to make it look old. Okay, so let's see what we're gonna do. I've got various little scraps here um, to do some collaging. And like I said, it's gonna be pretty simple, flat collaging because um, I don't wanna cause a lot of bulk. And then I have some little um, ephemera pieces that are Tim Holtz. Uh, I think most all of them are Tim Holtz to uh, kind of work with the collages. This is out of a old writing practice book. Um, that I got at a thrift store. Sorry trying to get organized here and sorry I did not even ask how you were doing I just kind of jumped right into it I hope everybody is doing well I would actually like to add a little bit of color let me see I'm gonna grab my this is my tiniest scrap box it has all my just little bitty scraps in it and it is a antique sterling white chalk box. I don't know if you can see that or not. 
My hubby got me several of these for Christmas, and they are excellent little boxes for putting little scrappy pieces in. So, but, oh, there's something with a little bit of color. Now, let's put that down. I'm going to use glue stick for almost all of this, I think, because it is going to be flat. Let's put that down. And, uh, like I said, this is going to be just pretty simple little collaging to kind of decorate some of the pages. I do have some washi tape as well. Um, I've got this washi tape, which is Tim Holtz. Some of it has, I've got, uh, one that looks like a ruler. This one that looks like letters. This one that looks like numbers. And then I'm also going to incorporate some of this tape that I just got, which looks like a label. Let me see if I can get this. And I found this at my local one scrapbook store that we have here in town. And it is by 49th and Market. And it comes in a box with six different washies in it. And the one I got is called what? Um, curators, and like I said, it's got six different ones in it. These little stitches are cute. I should have got that one out. I'll get that one out in a minute. Let me cut this. I want this little black label, but I thought these labels were just adorable. Stick that over there and save that for later. Oops, about dropped that. I think I'm going to trim. Round it. They seem pretty sticky. I've not used their washi before. We'll use glue just in case, but it does seem pretty sticky. Oh, that's really cute. And then I think everything's going to stick to everything else today. I have a feeling. My fingers have been sticking to stuff all day. Um, let's do... This little number. I'm going to do it in black soot. There we go. That works. Just a cute little something something on the page. And on this page, I think I'm going to put just a little something. Everything's a little something today. I am going to use our glitter on this one. It's a little thicker. But this these flowers kind of tie into those flowers I put on the other page. So I'm going to put those just right down here. Oh. 
Okay. So we've got that. We've got that. Now let's go over here to this page that's really white. What do we want to do here? Oh my goodness. Um, this is Tim Holtz paper and it's part of a multiplication table. So we could make I'm going to tear this right here and I'm going to make just a little pocket right there. So I'm going to glue on the two sides and the bottom. then let's find something to stick down in there that's not going to be too bulky. Here we go. Here's a little library card. That works, right? I'm gonna stick that right down in there like that. And that gives us a cute little pocket. Alright. Now, what are we gonna do over here? Excuse me, guys. I've got that glue all over my fingers won't let me do anything. Okay, I've got some of my little foshi. That's too much like what we did on the other. We'll see what else we've got with some color. Pattern's too big. Here's some butterfly. That's card stuff, though. Which I do not use card stock if we can help it. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Rummaging through the scraps. No, nope. gonna work. These are mostly all neutrals. Or cardstock. There we go. Let's get down to the bottom. Let's get down to the bottom in the nitty gritty. That's pretty. Let's do that. That blue kind of picks up on the blue that's in that little grid on the other side. 
It's no wonder I get glue all over me. Do you see that? Just got my thumbs and everything all in it. And then wonder why I get glue all over me. Okay. Let's do... Since we have math, let's do this number, a little bit of this number washi. Okay, I like that. We've got a mushroom. What butterflies kind of got that blue? No, I want that. Here's just the little mushroom. No, don't want that either. I like the idea of the mushroom, I just don't like those. Here's another one. And that one's cute, but I think it needs something underneath. Let's see. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Tickle. If I quit gouging my glue, I wouldn't have it all over me. Okay, and what do we have? Stamp wise. Let's do these three little, no, not use this one. Let me stamp this, see what it looks like. Oh, well, that's kind of cute. <laughs> Might do that over on the other side too. Kind of tie it in a little bit. Where do I want to do it? Here we go. Move my little pile out of the way so you're not too terribly confused trying to watch this. I know it's bad enough that the journal is so small. Okay, well, let's get out this little washi with the stitches on it, just so we have it down here for the next page. Okay, so we've got this. Actually, let's see what this looks like down this side. Can't find the end. Don't you hate that? There it is, I think. Hmm. 
maybe, maybe. It's going the wrong way. Well, that's kind of cute, isn't it? I think I'm going to put it on the next page we work on. Let's put it down this one. Since I had that tape on the other one. Oh, come on, Tammy. You know this tape is very sticky. So, yeah, to answer the question, I barely stuck that down and about couldn't get it off. So, I don't think sticking that washi down is going to be an issue at all. Without glue. Okay. Oh, that's cute. I like that because it kind of alternates the stitch. All right, let's put something down here. Um, let's put this. I just grabbed some of the just smaller number kind of stamps that I had. Just so I could do some stamping and it wouldn't overwhelm. And I've got this little girl and I really want to use her somewhere. Maybe just a little bit of colored paper. Now that I dug down to the bottom and got to some of the colored papers. Like I said, I don't want to do a ton on here. Just add some stuff here and there. Doesn't have to be a lot. Doesn't have to be any. I mean, you could very easily do one of these and just not add anything to the pages except for just age them. And, um, you know, whoever ended up with it could do what they wanted with it. And let's do another piece of this over here to kind of frame out that page. Hold that down for a second. And again, I won't be able to find the edge. There it is. I'm kind of happy with that, just like that. I might need something there. All right, on this side. Let's do a 
Let's get the sticky off my hands before it drives me crazy. Um, this is out of an old children's book. It is very fragile. And Let's see what we have. Let's do a little piece of this dolly. Maybe a butterfly. Let's do that. Let's see if I can get all that down without tearing any of it up. That'll be the miracle. Oh, I might use a piece of my old tape too. So it looks like it's taped down. Alright, so this would be first. I swear guys, I just washed my hands before I started this video. They already look terrible. Sometimes glue stick does not work well on those old book pages. That's cute. I 
Okay, we got a lot of white here. We need to do something. Let's do this, because I think you could still write on this with it being on here because it's so thin. We could make another little pocket. Let's do that. use that. What are we going to put in our pocket here? looking for a round, a round piece. Without much success. There we go. wide. There's a little purple flower. That's cute. We'll use that one. to do over on the other side. I think I'm going to stamp this stamp. This is, looks like a library 
the dates on the library card. And I won't make you guys go through all these pages with me. I'm just going to put some of my tape on this one what night. I just thought you might enjoy seeing what goes through my mind when I'm doing this kind of thing, which is not a lot. <laughs> but you'll notice that I flip back and forth quite often to see what I've done on the previous page and see how it kind of all ties together. Um, it's just, you know, I'll do that several times before I decide that it's done. Oops. Yeah, I really like that washi. That looks like those labels. That's pretty cool. This is older paper too, so that's why I'm using the art glitter instead of the um, glue stick because on that other one it just didn't want to didn't want to stick that old page.
I decided right before I stuck that down, I didn't want to cover those lines. So that's why I moved it from the original spot that I had it. Just do like a little side tuck. Another really white page. This is from Crafty Cat. It's digital out of her kit. I believe it's out of her. I don't know if it's a ribbit or if it is croaked, but it's one of her frog kits. Again, I'm going to make that look like it's taped in there. And over on the other side. 
bad. What are we gonna do? Maybe pull just a little bit of color over here. Um, let's see. Green would be nice if I could find a piece that's not cardstock. going to ink with my glue stick. It's not going to work very well, is it? Let's put something there. Not a mushroom. Butterfly, teeny tiny butterfly. Okay, it's probably time for another little person i don't want to put too many in here because i don't they're bulky but i want to put 
a couple. So let's find one to put here. Which one? Well, here's a little boy, or two little girls. They're cute. Let's do them. They look like they're ready for school, don't they? Okay, what are we going to put behind them? And let's ground them a little bit. So they're not floating up in the air. And we'll use the washi that looks like a ruler. I'm just going to wrap that around, I think. So I don't have an issue with that little number showing right there. Actually, it's pretty cute. And then to bring the other little girl in, I'm going to use my Stabilo. Oh. And my water brush. Just to kind of. Since she was standing a little higher. Didn't get that glued down. That all. I don't know what's up. My glue stick doesn't want to stick today at all. I wonder if it's the humidity. I'm just going to put it up. It's not being very cooperative. Okay. 
think I maybe want to put I'm going to put that across there because we got the music stuff over here. And then I believe all I want over here is just something down in the corner, down here. So you still have plenty of room to write. Maybe I'll do that. I like that pretty well. Oh, I got the pages sticking together, but it's okay. I can rub them down with some wax if I need to once we're done. Okay. We've got this page and then we're to the center and once we get to the center I'll let you guys go and put you out of your misery so you don't have to sit and watch me glue paper I have to use this And then, how thick are we getting? Not too bad. Trying to see if I have a little card or something I can make another little pocket out of. Or a tuck. Okay. 
little postcard can stick in something. This little calendar thing, if I can pick it up. Actually, I think I'm going to put it. Over here. Just on glued on top and bottom. Then we can stick that in there. Okay. Let's put another piece of tape. to our center. Yeah, that glue stick is, I'm gonna have to go back through this whole thing and make sure everything got glued down. That's okay. I can do that. We have some German book page. This is cardstock, but we are in the center. Let's glue these two down.
kind of like the idea of putting like um, a butterfly in the middle. I was trying to see if I had a, another piece of that German big page to make kind of a mirrored image on the other side. I should have torn it in half, huh? It's German too, but it's not the same book. Look weird. No, I think it's okay. We're gonna do it. I'm gonna do it anyway. Now I'm on a black. Maybe I'll get a regular one. Black one in here. bigger Green one might work. Okay. out a little better. I have misplaced my little white fussy cut scissors somewhere. And my room is not disorganized. I've just taken them and laid them down somewhere and I can't figure out where I laid them. That's what I've done. And these little Tim's Tim Holt scissors work pretty well for fussy cutting, but when you get to like really small things, I like those little white ones that I have. And um, but these aren't aren't too bad.
I'm going to fold it right in half. And this one's out of a butterfly book, so it actually has writing on the back, which is kind of cool. So it's not just plain paper. And then I'm going to glue it right in the middle. Preferably straight. And I'm not going to glue the wings down. I'm just gluing the body right in the middle. I'm gonna like this green with with this spread. No, I don't. That's not gonna work. Not gonna work. There's a brown. It might work better. Yeah, I can do that. I'm gonna take my pen. I'm gonna take some washi. Do the numbers, I think. Or maybe I'll do the stitching. What do I do with that one? I've got too much crap on my desk. Well, that looks kind of cool, doesn't it? Okay. There we are. I promised you to the center and that was it. And you might put you out of your misery. So there we go. We're halfway through. And I will just continue on and do the same type of thing through the remainder of the journal. I won't put you through another video for that. Because um, it's just going to be the same, same stuff. Um, and then... When I get it finished, I'll come back and show you um, a flip through of the finished journal. So, uh, when it is done, it ties 
shut. I just put a piece of twine around it so that you could tie it here on the side. Like so. Put a bow on it. Maybe my hands are so sticky that the twine is sticking to my fingers. I definitely have got to go wash my hands before I do anything else. And then it will fit down on our little box. Like that. And then we have our little tin. I didn't get my bow enough to the side to get it shut. You gotta have it. You gotta have your bow. Oh my goodness, all thumbs. You gotta have your bow right on the side right there in order for it to get down in there. But anyway, you get the point without me fiddling with it for 30 minutes. And then we have our little tin with our little journal in it. And uh, I have been kind of using, because it is kind of a little bit bulky already before we even get started because I put this button on the front but I really wanted that button on the front and I really don't want to have to take it off and so I'm hoping I can make it work but what I have been doing is I have been taking one of these little clips and just clipping it shut with one of the clips in hopes of kind of training that journal to be a little flatter. So we'll see how that ends up. It may not work. And I may end up having to take my little button off the front, but I really don't want to. So there we go. I hope everybody enjoyed that. And um, everybody stay crafty. Go make something today. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.